Welcome back to Africa Trends TV. During the week, the South African Chief Justice faced a backlash for a prayer he made against COVID-19 vaccines and any other medications that is intended to be harmful to people. He went on further to say he is not an expert in vaccines, but then these vaccines should not be made compulsory or imposed on people. These are the kind of leadership we need on this continent of Africa. A leader who thinks about his people but not about his pocket and got the right to his opinion and faith as long as it does not contradict the laws of the land. Let's take a look at this. But before then, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell so that any content that we upload, you will be the first person to get it. Whatever phase is said to be coming, Lord, I judge it, I run it down in the name of Jesus. I lock out every demon of COVID-19. I lock out any vaccine that is not of you. If there be any vaccine that is of the devil, meant to infuse triple six in the lives of people, meant to corrupt their DNA, any such vaccine, Lord God Almighty, may it be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Any legalizing agent law for wickedness in this nation, for wickedness in Africa and across the nations of the world, Lord God Almighty, send your angels, send even your angel of the media, send all the angel of fire, the angel of judgment, the angel of the winds of the Lord to enforce your will in the name of Jesus. No more suffering, Lord. No more suffering. Revive the economy of this country, for we know, you've told us, Lord, there are many hidden minerals still that will only surface when righteousness emerges. My Father and my God, if there be any leader in this nation who is serving himself or herself to the exclusion of the people, pretending to be a good leader, you know them, except they repent, judge them without delay. My God, I say it and will never apologize for praying. Judge the evil ones who want to corrupt this country and eat alone with their friends. Time for their judgment is now in the name of Jesus. If there is any vaccine that is deliberately intended to do harm to people, that vaccine must never see the light of day. And any other medication, by the way, I extend it to any other medication that is intended to be harmful or that will accidentally be harmful to the people in this country, in this continent and around the world. That medication must never see the light of day. I cry unto God to stop it from seeing the light of day. And then along the same lines, um, following on from that, when, the va when and if the vaccine does become available here in South Africa, um, I just want some clarity in terms of whether or not you would encourage people to take up that vaccine and to get vaccinated. No, it's not my... I mean, I don't know anything about vaccines. What I can say now is that I don't think the vaccine must, never, must ever be compulsory. I saw something to the effect that, uh, and I hope it was a lie, a statement attributed to a very important global organization, to the effect that uh, they are considering e-vaccine or e-vaccination -vac certificate for traveling. It must be voluntary. People must just run tests on us if we are not positive. They must allow us to, 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 to travel. You can't impose a vaccine on people. Why should you? Why should I have a vaccine in my system if, I, if I'm not uh, positive? So those who bear the responsibility to make sure that the vaccine works, those who can vouch for the, for, the, for, the, for, the, um, for the effectiveness of the vaccine and that it doesn't have negative side effects, must be the ones to propagate it. I'm not a scientist, but what I do is that I'll pray for God's intervention.